Huh, interesting. It's Morse code! We should use different means to communicate with each other. What for? What do you mean? To talk and send each other different messages. And to understand each other without words, too. Oh, Sammy, I guess I understand you now without words. And I think I know what we need. Oh, awesome! You're going to the kitchen to fetch sweets, right? <laughs> right, we still have to work on mutual understanding while crafting. <laughs> Hi guys! Today we'll make a very cute ropeway from cardboard! We'll start with this sheet of corrugated cardboard. We'll make our craft colorful later. And this is the piece I made beforehand. It's 40 by 26 centimeters. Well, well, let's not break the tradition and remember who's the king of cardboard here. I brought another necessary piece. Oh, thank you, your majesty. You're just in time. Guys, we'll also need a circle with a diameter of 7 centimeters. Ew, I thought that a ropeway is something from obstacle races. How is it related to communication? In our case, Sammy will also serve as one of the ways to communicate. We'll attach the motor and wires to our circle. Thanks to this mechanism and little cabs, we can send each other different things and messages. Hop. And we'll also need to build two columns. Guys, remember to be careful while working with hot glue. So we're applying the glue along the edge and then rolling it carefully. It's important not to damage the cardboard. I can't wait to see it! Soon, Sammy, you'll see it for sure. And in the meantime, can you make another column, please? No problem! And I'll make a hole to insert the wires. Be careful with the cutter. Too. I remembered that not long ago there was another popular way of communication. Pigeon post! But how do pigeons know where to bring the mail? At all delivery points, they always had dove coats. Then people took pigeons away and attached letters to them, but the birds always returned to their dove coat. Oh, that's a really crafty idea with these dove coats. Come to think of it, pigeons did it for free. Oh, I got carried away. I'm off to work. Go on. And here we'll get to the most important part, the heart of our mechanism. We'll attach the wires to the speed control device and the battery. Guys, do this only under adult supervision. Electricity is a serious matter. Yeah, the pigeons didn't have any motors to help them. But they had wings, and that's not bad. Damn, wait, why are you still here? I just realized that my battery is also low and I need a minute to recharge. Be right back. Sammy, I guess you're the only mechanism which works on sweets. <laughs> well, no time to rest. To make our structure look more realistic, we'll paint it in this metal-like color. Oh, it looks beautiful. Let's keep going. We finished painting our column. Check out how awesome it looks. So I snacked but didn't return empty-handed. Oh, did you bring me some treats? Yep, these cardboard circles. Oh, thanks, Sammy. This is the best possible treat at the moment, I guess. Our ropeway will start working very soon. I really want to see this wonder. For now, there are no ropes or even a way. Oh, come on, Sammy. We'll finish it very soon. To make our circles neat, we'll glue this cardboard ribbon to the edges. Done. Let's connect our part to the other circles, just like this. Looks like a cardboard cookie sandwich. Huh, I think I need another snack. <laughs> Sammy, you're something. Now we need to paint our cookie the same color as before. A couple more touches. As shiny as our column. <laughs> Here, this is our movable mechanism of the ropeway. But at the moment, it moves only the final result. Since we don't have any ropes yet. <laughs> don't worry, Sammy. Soon we'll have everything. Look what I brought! Oh, wow, Sammy! Guys, it's the same piece like we made, but without the wires and with a metal rod inside. Look, we prepared a beautiful lawn for our ropeway. Now let's glue our columns to the base. It's easy. Action! 
choice too. I read that Samuel Morse, the one who created the Morse code, was a good artist and had nothing to do with science. So what are you trying to say? I don't want to sound arrogant, uh -huh. but uh, I'm a good artist as well, and I don't know much about science yet. Should I invent my own way of communication? Oh. I think I could try to use a special food crunching. Each letter of the alphabet will have its own type of crunch or smacking. Whoa! And now, guys, comes the most interesting part of our craft. Our piece of corrugated cardboard needs another thin layer, like this. First, let's apply lots of glue all over the surface. So, another touch. Easy does it. Awesome! Let's press the two parts together. There we go. But don't rush, guys. Do it carefully. Now we'll wrap the piece we made around this oval part. All right. In a way, this craft will look like a cableway in the mountain. So will we have doormen in these lifts to send messages like in hotels? Sammy, here we will be the doormen, mailmen, and customers. Now we'll make some holes for windows. Be careful with sharp tools. Ask an adult to help you. Huh. Will Ginger fit in there? It could be a great amusement ride for him. Oh, Sammy, I think he's a little too heavy for a mechanism like this. Then he can just watch, but first I'll decorate the thing. Oh, my artist, go ahead. And now it's time for some landscape decor. This is our start. Can you guess what it looks like? It looks like a cake. Sue, can I have a piece? <laughs> no, Sammy, it's the base of our columns, and it is absolutely inedible. Oh, I already realized it. Oh, it's the layout for the mountain. We just need to decorate it. First, we'll shape it using some polymer clay. Let's soften it and flatten it out. Make it really thin, like this. We'll start working from the top. Carefully, trying not to tear the clay. We need to shape it well. Piece by piece, we need to cover our mountain from all sides, sticking all layers to each other. I feel like a master of molding. <laughs> Whew, this process is so much fun. You should try it, guys. Now it's time for the most creative process. And I can really challenge Sam here. After being a sculptor, I can turn into a painter. <laughs> Sam is missing the most fun thing again, but I guess he's too busy. Let's use the brown color now. Here we go again. Woo! <laughs> some more color here. It will add more volume and make the whole thing look like a real mountain. Guys, have you ever been to the mountains? I really like mountain views and the air. <sighs> so fresh. I can almost feel it while working on our mountain model. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> That's the smell of paint. <laughs> our mountain needs some greenery. Something like this. The more greenery we have, the more beautiful the place will look. I just love plants, they're so bright. We're almost done here. Small stones will be a great addition here. Like this. See? Here comes another one. But uh, not too much. Let's add texture to our mountains. A little bit of glue. And voila. <laughs> it's so easy and fun. Done! So look, I wasn't wasting my time. Whoa, Sammy, that is awesome. I'll bring two more now. Whoa, Sammy's such a pro. He made everything so neatly and even attached the wires. I hope that not all lifts hang on wires. Otherwise, I'd use the stairs even in skyscrapers. <laughs> of course not. Lifts hang on very sturdy cables, but in our model, we've replaced the cables with wires. 
here, it is quite safe. We'll attach the cap with this magical heat-shrinking tube. Come on, Sue, but don't damage our ropeway. Everything is very sturdy. We can even do this. Whoa, Sue, it's working! The ropes are moving the cargo! Did you really think that this wouldn't work? Mutual understanding, remember, Sammy? I do. That's why I have a message for ya. Oh. So, uh, what kind of message did you send me from the other end? <laughs> oh, well, Sammy, thanks. That's very sweet. Gosh, Sue, it's a secret! For us and our viewers. Oh. Guys, thanks for watching this video and try making this cool mechanism at home. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, hit the bell button, and share this video with your friends. Bye-bye!